Okay, we are recording. Hello everyone. Today I thought I would go through all of my writing utensils. As you can see, I have a lot. So what I'm gonna do is just go through them. I want to declutter some of the ones that I'm not using all the time and just come up with a better set up for all these. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just organize them into their own separate things versus like by pen type and then I'll just go through them. Because my Apple Pencil doesn't write on paper. <laughs> go away. This is everything. So, I don't know if you can see this. I have some Sattler pens. These obviously came in a set, just like this. Um, I love it because the case opens and then you can just click it like that and it stays sitting up, which is really nice. I don't use them super often, but because it's such a nice set, I am going to keep them. Um, they are like felt tip, which I don't use all the time, but I love all the colors. Anyway, basically just rambling on to say I'm gonna keep this one. Let's see, obviously I have a lot of backups of this. This is probably, I guess I would say, it's probably my all time favorite pen. I guess. I always go back to it, and it's also, I think, my mom's favorite pen, so. And, like, you get a 10-pack for, like, a dollar, so you really can't beat them. They are the Crystal Bic pens. They are just, I think they're just a ballpoint pen. I don't know. They're cheap. They're easy. They're the best. This is where... I run into problems because I love these and they're beautiful and they even have colors like my all-time favorite color olive green but again they're felt tip pens and because they are not in a nice set like the Stettler ones and easy to store I don't find myself reaching for these they're beautiful they're great felt tip pens but I just don't use them so I'm gonna get rid of these these are all of the open Sharpies I had. These, I know, I just bought. These came in a set, so these are brand new. I'm gonna keep those. These were all opened ones, so I don't know. I'm gonna open these and see which one has been used the most and the least. This is how kind of anal I am about pens. So these three have a finer point to them and this one does not. So I'm going to use this one up first. This is like my everyday pen holder. This is my backup star. That'll go in backups. And these two I am going to put in this box because I know these are all unopened, all unused. Granted, these are blue ones, but they will fit. These I'm also going to put as backups um, just because they are dual ended and they have a fine point. Okay, Sharpie, if you're listening, speaking of which, okay, this is my only open blue one, so that is going in there. All I wanted was to find like a two pack of the fine, ultra fine point Sharpies in blue. All that exists in stores is two packs of black Sharpies in the Ultra Fine Point. Yes, I do use the black. However, now that I've switched to Team Blue, 
I needed an ultra fine point in blue. And this is the only way I could find it in store is to get a dual tip. And so I bought this pack because I needed a dual tip blue Sharpie. This works for a lot of things. And I do actually sometimes just like to write lists in Sharpie because I'm weird. Sharpie, if you're listening, please put out blue packs of fine tip, ultra fine tip Sharpies in stores and online for all the blue, all the team blue ink people. We need it. Thank you. Moving on. Papermate Ink Joy Gels. These used to be one of my favorites when I was into black ink, but I have found that as you use it, once it gets like halfway through, it starts skipping. It works great for like halfway through the cartridge and then halfway through it just starts skipping. So that really drives me nuts. I think what I'm gonna do is just take these to work. I'm gonna get rid of these as well. Next, let's see. So these are the only pencils I had. This is literally the only non-mechanical pencil that I own other than craft pencils. So I'm gonna keep this one. Um, and I don't use it very often, so I'm gonna put it in there. This is a zebra pencil. This is a 0.7. That's a 0.5. These are my favorite mechanical pencils. Papermate, they are 0.5 millimeters. They have the button on the side. Anyway, they just write real nice, and the eraser twists up all that. It's pretty fancy for a mechanical pencil. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Wild Lightners. This is an obvious keep for me. I use these every week. I would say that I never use brown and some of the other colors are less used, but because it's a set, I want to keep it together. Next, let's see, I have three of these. So I don't use these very often now. I use them all of the time when I was in dental hygiene school. They were wonderful for our clinicals because we had to write in different colored inks. Highly recommend for anyone in a medical or clinical setting. So these are, obviously, I've used the orange way more than any other color. And these are like gel highlighters. Um, that way they don't bleed through the page. These I'm gonna keep. These ones I'm gonna get rid of. I bought them as a set. These are like the old, old Erin Condren markers. They are a felt tip. I'm gonna keep the dual tipped ones versus these because I just, I never reach for these. These are wet erase markers so I probably shouldn't use them on paper. Okay. See, that's what I thought. The only one that's kind of fading is the black, and I have another set of these, but it's not fully gone. So, next, I have a couple fountain pens. So, this one I actually just got at Walmart the other day, just because I wanted, it was cheap, and I wanted to try something that had different size nibs to it. So, this one is very wide, and this is a, um... Lamy Safari fountain pen. This one literally has like a metal like harpoon in the bottom. So this one is honestly, this is the most I've ever spent on a pen. This pen I believe was like $20 by itself, but it is very nice and it's a fountain pen and I can always just buy the extra ink cartridges. Um, it does write a little thick for what I want for like everyday use and it bleeds a bit so that's why I don't use it every day but it writes beautifully you just gotta have a fountain pen if you're into writing my everyday use pens here so these are my all-time favorite right now for blue ink everyday use is the pilot g2s these are backups keep this is my currently using one see like as you can see like this one has ink, this one has less ink, because this is the one I've been using. I literally, I use pens like I read books most of the time, and use one at a time. I'm a one at a time kind of girl. These Sharpie S gels I bought in a two pack. Um, backup. 
hand currently using the zebra pens. I like the right of the pen because it's very thin. This is a or 0 0.5 millimeters. But I don't like it because this is not comfortable to write with. So that's why I have this. This is current use. Back up. This one is so cute. Nice and rose gold. Obviously, Erin Condren pen. Just twists open. Nice ballpoint rollerball. I honestly need to know more. Like, I don't quite understand the difference between a ballpoint and a rollerball. Okay, Pento Energel. I like this because it writes nice and wet. I don't know if you can see. But it's a nice, very black ink. And it's kind of a heavyweight pen. So I like it for, like, formal writing. I know, I'm weird. I have pens for different things. So many pens. Too little time. Just like books. So obviously, just like stickers, I have too many writing utensils. Nope. Didn't even include these. And, oh my god. Okay. Let's try this again. So these are what I'm getting rid of. It may not look like a lot. Um, not getting rid of this. That was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed, even though it was kind of ridiculous. And I probably am just rambling and mumbling on to myself. But anyway, I don't know what else to say. So have a happy day, everyone. I'll see you next time.